Hello YouTube, how you doing? I would try the Wendy Williams. How you how how you doing? How you how do I I can't do it. I I have tried and tried. I cannot do the Wendy Williams. How you doing thing? Can well, whatever. Anyway, I was online today reading the news and I happened to see an article about Stephen Hawking. Hawking. Stephen Hawking who was um, talking about aliens and it had me thinking, actually it caught my eye because I had been having this discussion with a friend recently about the existence of aliens or not. I'm, I personally am not a huge sci-fi addict, although I do like, I do enjoy Star Trek, I love the movie, um, not as much as I thought I would, but I did like the movie and I, I was a huge fan of the series although I was really young at the time when it was going on not the original one mind you because I don't think I was born yet but um, back in the days of Captain Picard and whatnot anyway so the gist of the article was saying that um, Stephen Hawking, Hawking was basically warning against trying to contact aliens because well he was saying that it would be sort of akin to when Columbus when Columbus um, went to the Americas and with the, with the resulting um, decimation of the indigenous population so he was basically saying don't don't bother don't don't not, not don't bother but trying to contact aliens would probably be to our detriment now I don't really try to spend my life trying to contact aliens or, or thinking about life out there but I it does cross my mind origin, um, from time to time what am I saying um, and I guess like you know all the great mysteries of the universe is there life out there is one of the things that you think about sometimes and I did tend to agree with him um, when he said that in terms of the statistics there is a high probability that there would be life out there as to whether as to what that life resembles that's something else but d do you do you believe that aliens exist I, I i i am inclined to i'm not inclined to try to reach them personally but i i think they do exist i mean it would be egocentric and really really small-minded of us i think to to assume that we were the only planet in this whole vast universe where where there would be life, but anyway, that's, that's probably just me being crazy. Anyway, it's, oh, speaking, well, not speaking of aliens, actually, I just remembered, I just thought of it last night, I went out to this Irish pub, um, where, well, a friend of mine invited me out because of some of his friends were playing in this, this group, this band, that basically does a lot of Irish traditional music, and surprise surprise I was the only black person there but that I was sort of more or less expecting there was an Asian guy but I suspect he was actually not he was of Asian descent and not actually born in any Asian country but he 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 I, I suspect he was Spanish too but anyway that's not the point the point is all of this to say is I'm really embarrassed but I actually um, I ordered, yes, yeah, so I'm, I, I went to, start from the beginning, I went into this pub and to enjoy this music and I figured, you know, you're in an Irish pub, might as well have myself a, a pint of Guinness. And I, I'm not a drinker, I admit it, I don't drink alcohol, I don't like the taste of alcohol, um, for health reasons I prefer not to drink, um, as well as my own personal and religious beliefs, I prefer not to drink, but I made an exception last night and ordered a pint of Guinness, which I had, and at the end of the night, I found myself tipsy, a bit tipsy. Yeah, it was a, a quite an, ex an experience. Now, for another reason I don't like to drink is because I find that alcohol makes me sleepy. Hmm. Yeah. And... Although generally makes me sleepy, uh, last night, I towards the end of the night, I started talking and talking and talking and <laughs> I was afraid of what I was going to say, so I basically just left in a hurry and as you know, if, if you've ever been drunk, you know that you being drunk and hurrying 
mm, not very compatible. So I basically almost tripped m my way out of the out of the pub. But anyway, that was. A I've been tipsy before, but not to that degree. I didn't have a hangover. I wasn't that drunk, but I, I just remember thinking on my way home, my God, how do people drive in this condition? You know, how how do you drive? I, I could barely walk. Well, I'm exaggerating, but how do you drive? How do you even think of driving when you drive? Anyway, I guess years of practice will do that for you. Hmm. Not that I'm recommending drinking and driving, kids. Mm -mm. No. Um, yeah, so anyway, which reminds me, I I had okay, so I had this, this pint of Guinness and I couldn't help but compare it to beer because I've been having yes I pronounced beer and not beer or however else you pronounce it, but deal with it. I I I don't really like either one particularly if but if I had a choice, given the choice I would go for a Guinness before choosing a beer. I don't know. Is it just me? What do you think? How do you how do you weigh in on the spectrum, on the booze spectrum? Are you more of a a beer chugger? Are you more of a a Guinness drinker? Do you prefer rum? Mm. I like rum and fruit cake, black cake, West Indian black cake. That's good stuff. Rum and raisin ice cream isn't bad either. Why am I talking about alcohol so much? Anyway, so are you beer, more beer, Guinness, rum, or are you like Disney Kid One? I hope I'm. I hope I'm. That's his real. His that's the correct YouTube. Anyway, are you a Boons farmer like Disney Kid One? Let me know. Comment below. Catch you later. Ciao.